In this video, I'll tell you whether Blood Bowl is going to be a good gateway game for you. So a number of years ago, I did a video about gateway games, which you can watch. Uh, a gateway game is, in my mind, a game that gets people into the, the concepts and potentially, hopefully, the hobby of tabletop wargaming. It's something that kind of bridges the gap between, say, board games and miniatures games, war games, or maybe CCGs, collectible card games. And, and, and war games or RPGs, whatever, that kind of stuff. And it can get people to kind of move from this and kind of ease into our hobby, which admittedly is not a particularly sometimes friendly hobby to just jump into, you know, feet first. So the whole point of this video is to find out whether or not this game, Blood Bowl from Games Workshop, is a good gateway game. And spoiler alert, like many things in life, it kind of depends. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my thoughts about it by telling you a story about myself. When I first started getting into wargaming, it was a long time ago. It was in the early 90s, the 1990s, and I was shown a game by a friend of mine that was basically a gateway game that I've mentioned in the past, also made by Games Workshop, and it was called Space Hulk. Now, the reason that Space Hulk really fired off for me at that time and got me really kind of interested in tabletop wargaming and all that kind of stuff there's a lot of different reasons, but one of the big reasons is because it was science fiction, and I've always been into science fiction, specifically back then, Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, gosh, um, Blade Runner, even Mad Max stuff. You know, I was I was big into the Road Warrior back before I hadn't even seen like Mad Max, and I think that was possibly just right around the time that Thunderdome came. Anyway, my point is is that really Space Hulk is the movie Aliens. Not Alien, not the first one, but the second one. It's basically that movie. You have these blips moving around in the corridors. You don't know what's, you know it's something, but you don't know how much is something or whatever. It might be nothing. And you've got all this kind of stuff. You're going down these hallways. You've got guns. You're flame, you know, using a flamethrower to clear a room. That's just total aliens. It's just exactly what that is. And to me at the time, that was the perfect hook that got me interested in all these little guys. And then I started reading the book and then there was all this fluff about the Imperium of Man and all that jazz. And, you know, so there you go. That's where it goes. That's how, it, that's how I got into it. Now, let's do a quick little thought experiment. And this is, again, for me, if this would have been the game that I would have been shown instead of Space Hulk, would it have worked on me? I don't think it would have. Now, I'm not saying that this is a bad game. It's a good game. But it's got two things in it that are not necessarily to my specific liking. Number one, it's fantasy. At this point in my life, I'm more into, interested in fantasy. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I like Age of Sigmar and stuff like that. And, and I'm a big fan of Lord of the Rings movies and all that kind of jazz. So I've gotten into fantasy. At the time, I was not. But... You know, this is basically the real fantasy football. This is orcs and dwarves and vampires, uh, and, and they're, they're throwing around literally a pigskin. Well, it's not actually pigskin. I don't know. It's something else, but it's a thing. And But it's a football. They're basically throwing around. This is the whole concept of um, Blood Bowl is it is the idea of American-style football kind of seen through the lens of English designers. And that's kind of interesting to me as an American but here's the second thing that would have not necessarily gotten me super interested in Blood Bowl as my first gateway game. I'm not a sports fan. I don't, I've never been a sports fan. My wife, she really likes football and specifically the Green Bay Packers because we live here in Wisconsin and that's, you know, that's what you do. And that's great. So I know a little bit about that stuff at this point in my life, predominantly through osmosis, if I'm perfectly honest. It's just, you know, I hear about it and it's on the TV, and so I know a little bit about it now. But back when I was a kid, I cared nothing about sports, unless I was actually like outside playing some baseball with, you know, the kids in the neighborhood or whatever, that kind of stuff, or playing soccer or anything like that. I was in T-ball, I think, in, in, you know, in, as, as, a, as a grade schooler. But I didn't care about any of the pro teams. I didn't watch sports, any of that kind of stuff. So I was not super interested in it. So if you come to a person that you're trying to possibly convert and turn into a tabletop hobbyist, a, a wargaming hobbyist, and you think to yourself, okay, what kind of thing would they be interested in? 
Are they into fantasy or are they more into sci-fi? Are they into sports or are they not into sports? The person that this is a great gateway game for is the person who is into fantasy and a person who's into sports in my mind. Now, that's not to say that there's not some of you out there right now who are probably already typing in the contents. Well, I don't like either of those things, but I love Blood Bowl. Okay, that's great. But that's kind of an edge case. For the most part, the bonus of this game, the definite benefit to players, is that it's allowing you to bring sport and fantasy together into a game that is kind of a board game and that you can kind of do these things with and go from there. So the super important question, if you've got somebody who's into fantasy and they've in, they're into sports and you think that, or maybe you're into fantasy and you're into sports and you're trying to decide if this is your jam, is it actually a good game? And I would say the answer is yes. Again, remember, I used to play Space Hulk because it got its specific hooks into me being science fiction. But after that, I began to start to play the older version of Blood Bowl because it was a good game. And I was getting into the concept of orcs and Skaven and the dwarves and all this kind of stuff. And then the idea of football was kind of interesting to me, not so much because of the sport aspect of it, because like I said, I was never super into sports, but the concept of a league and playing in a league really kind of appealed to me. If You will find a lot of stores that have Blood Bowl, that had Blood Bowl leagues up until just before this launched because they've been you know keeping them up for years. So it's something that certainly kept people's attention for a long time. The new edition is great. It's got a double-sided board that comes inside. The, the new models are excellent in my mind. They're very easy to put together. They're almost kind of snap to fit. Plus, and this is very different from the older versions, they're now in different colors. It used to be that all the figures were gray. So when you put them together and if you weren't quite to the point of painting yet in your wargaming, you were sitting there with gray on gray. And that was the battles. Now it's the blue humans, that's the blue is their armor, and then the green orcs. The green is their skin, of course. So the question is at that point, well now, can I just paint the armor on the orcs and maybe leave their skin green and that's close enough and with the humans just paint some human color in the skin areas and then leave the rest of the plastic blue, maybe throw a wash on it quickly and see where you're at. But even if you don't do any of that, you've still got two teams that are different colors now at the very least. There's lots of extra components in here. Um, the book has been, I don't want to say the rules have been streamlined, they've been tweaked a little bit, but not much. But the, the book itself, you know, is, is well laid out. Everything is good that way. So if you're interested, like I said, in thinking about the game because you're looking for something that's a gateway, if you're already into wargaming and things like that and you've heard of Blood Bowl for years and now you just want to check it out, you should definitely, you know, give it a try. At least play it at your local shop if you can. But if you're thinking about like, you know, I've been a board gamer for quite some time, but I'd like to move into this. And if you also like sports... And if you also like fantasy, I would say that this is a slam dunk. If you're a person who's never really even been into gaming, but you like sports and you like fantasy, the concepts in those things, this is definitely a good move. So really, again, like I said, it totally depends. There are some people who probably this is not necessarily their first foray into the world of wargaming. This maybe is not the gateway game for them. And there are tons of other gateway games, like I said in the video previously, you know, you've got your Star Wars X-Wing, which is huge right now. You've got a lot of different stuff out there. Um, again, Space Hulk, which they've also re-released -re 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 at this point. So, you know, you've got lots of choices. But if you've got somebody, whether it's you or a friend, maybe a relative, um, one of your children, who's interested in sports, interested in fantasy, but also wants to kind of get a little bit more crafty and get into a little bit more of that stuff, I would say that you can't necessarily go too wrong with something like Blood Bowl.